and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So a while ago I made a video on the Awesome Synthi Assets Humble Bundle that is currently running and is actually ending soon. In that video I asked if you would like to see some quick mini games built with these assets to showcase various game ideas that you could make, so lately that's what I've been building. I took the sci-fi pack and made a really nice RTS game, I used the farm pack to make a nice farming game, and finally I used the town pack to make a sort of crazy taxi driving game. The goal with this video is to show you how you can take some asset pack that you like and you can turn some idea you have into reality pretty quickly. And thanks to using some nice assets, the final prototype actually looks pretty good as opposed to just using some boring cubes. So whenever you look at an asset pack and you get an idea for an interesting game, go ahead and try building it, you might really enjoy what you make. In case you missed that other video, here is the humble bundle that I'm talking about. This one's got a massive amount of Synthi Studios pack, all of them in their gorgeous low poly style. I would highly recommend you get this bundle, you can get over 3000 assets, which you can then use in hundreds of different game ideas like you will see in a bit. Over here you have the ones I mentioned, so the farm pack, the sci-fi space pack and the town pack. Then you also have the pirate pack with tons of assets. You've got the office pack in case you want to make some sort of tycoon game. You've got the prototype pack with tons of basic modular pieces. Then you've got tons and tons of characters. There's a spy kit, an explorer kit and tons and more. So yep, as you can see this bundle is excellent, possibly the best bundle I've ever seen. It's got a massive amount of variety for an extremely cheap price. It ends in just 3 days, so I would encourage you to get it quickly. Check it out with the link in the description. And one more thing, if you're the kind of person who does not like using assets because you think it's cheating, or maybe because you're afraid that players won't call your game an asset flip, if you think like that, then go watch this other video that I made where I browse games that are clearly using assets and I see what the player reviews actually say. Okay, so let's see the mini games that I quickly made using these assets. There's also chapters in the video if you want to skip ahead. I'm pretty happy with what I've managed to build and how good it looks considering how quickly I made these games. I only spent about 4 hours on each game, that's a pretty small amount of time, but they still work as basic prototypes and thanks to using some awesome assets, the games also look pretty cool. So here is my first game, this one is the RTS mini game that I made with the sci-fi pack. So I've got a bunch of units, I can click to select them, I've got a camera that I can move, rotate around, zoom in and so on. For the selection logic, I actually covered RTS unit selection in another video. So I can click to select them and right click to tell them to go anywhere. So all of you go over there. Then for the level, it's a really nice space station, tons of things, all of them looking really cool. And over here inside the ship there are various turrets defending it. So I have to tell my units to get within range and start attacking those turrets. So there you go, the units start attacking and the turrets also start attacking. So as you can see they all have health, both the units as well as the turrets. So these are using the health system that I made on the very first video on this channel. Now eventually, suddenly some of my units die, so they can't really take it over with just 3 units. So like in any RTS, I need some more units. So down here I've got a button for my build queue, so I can click to build some more units. Now as usual they take some time to build, and after they are built, they spawn the map, and since this map is on the space station, they get dropped off with a really nice spaceship. So there you go, the spaceship comes in, drops them off, and goes away. Now I've got these units, I can move them around, and try to get them to invade the space station, and take out the turrets one by one. So there you go, just like that. So as you can see, this one has all of the main features that you would expect from an RTS. It's got unit spawning, it's got unit selection and orders, there are attacks and weapon shooting, there are enemies, health bars and so on. Again, all of this was built in just about 4 hours of development and you can already see a nice game idea forming. And thanks to using this asset pack, they actually look pretty great. If I had not used an asset pack, then all of these characters would be boring cubes, and the level itself would be some boring shapes instead of a cool looking space station. Now another idea I had for this pack was making some sort of spaceship dogfighting game. There's tons of cool ships included in the pack, but that one is not a genre that I'm very experienced with, so since I had such a short amount of time to make these prototypes, I went to the genre that I already knew how to make. But again, another example of a completely different game you could build with these same assets. Or perhaps you could make some sort of spaceship trading game, so moving goods between planet to planet. Or perhaps something in first person like Doom or Halo, just get a character controller and a first person camera and you can walk around the demo scene. So tons of game ideas you can build from this one pack alone. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button, it's a tiny thing but it really does help, thanks. Next up, the farming game using the farm pack. Now this one was an obvious idea, although initially I actually thought about making it more in the style of a management game. I thought about having an overhead view and just clicking to place down crops. 
but since the RTS game already had that sort of view, I went with something different. So over here I've got my farmer character in third person. For the controller, I'm using the Unity Official Start Assets third person controller. That one is a free asset and it's really awesome. I covered it in detail in another video. So all I did was use that with a character from this pack so I can walk around anywhere on this farm world. Now there's also some NPCs just lying around just to give a bit of life to the world as well as some animals also walking around. Now these are from another pack but since that pack is also low poly the style actually fits perfectly. So I can move around and over here are some plots of land. As I approach I can select each one individually so just by looking at them. So I can go into this one and using the keyboard I can select which seed I want to place. So let's say I want to place down some carrots. So I just go approach, I press the button, the character drops down does a nice animation. This one is from the crafting animation mega pack, pretty useful pack that I picked up quite a long time ago. So with that the seed has been planted and I can place some more. So I can select a different one and click to place, so place down some corn, then some like a butternut squash, then some like a pumpkin, and finally some like a watermelon. Okay, so all of those seeds have been planted. Now all it takes is just some time to watch as they grow. Then I also add a button to speed up the clock, so I can press a button and everything speeds up. There's also a pretty basic day-night cycle, so the sun rotates around. I just use a simple animation on the directional light and just played a bit with the color. Now as time passes, the plants grow, so they keep track of their own growth stage. There are multiple growth stages, as you can see. So let's just pass some more time and wait until they're all fully grown. Alright, they're all fully grown, so it's time to harvest. So again, just approach the plot, look at it. The character bends down, does a nice animation, and grabs it. You can see down there on my UI, you can see I've got a sort of simple inventory system, and they get added. So I just picked up a carrot, and over here, picking up this pumpkin, and there you go, just pick them all up. Now I can just plant some more and keep farming more and more vegetables. So you already see quite a lot of things that I can plant. All of these are from objects from this farm pack. Now if I were to expand upon this, I would add some sort of market. So adding the ability to buy seeds and sell fully grown vegetables. So just with that, it would be an interesting game loop. You just plant, grow, sell, buy more seeds, plant some more, grow some more, and so on. Again, all of this was made in just about four hours and you can already see a nice working prototype. And just like with the RTS game, the prototype looks great since it's using proper assets instead of just boring old cubes. For some other ideas you could build with this pack, first off my original idea, you could make this sort of more like a management game, so something with a top-down view, perhaps controlling multiple farmer characters, building buildings and so on. Or perhaps this could be simply a normal level in a normal shooter game, just a nice farm environment. Or you could make something like Farming Simulator and add some vehicle controls to all the vehicles included in the pack. Once again, lots of game ideas you can build with this pack. And then for the final game, the one using the town pack. Now my first idea for this one was making something like The Sims. So using the interior of a house and controlling various characters to do normal actions. That was my first idea but that required quite a lot of animations which given how much time I had to build a prototype would be quite tricky. So I looked at the pack and saw that it had some nice cars, so I decided to use the demo scene and make something sort of like Crazy Taxi. For the car controls, I made a super simple controller in another video, but that one is extremely simple. Then I also remembered I had a driving asset that I picked up quite a while long time ago. So this was the perfect time to use that. It just took a bit of time to look into how that asset works, just changed the visual for the one from this pack, I tweaked some settings to make the driving feel nice and arcadey. And with that, over here is my car, so I can drive around, I can even go and do some nice moves. The town itself also looks pretty great, so lots of buildings, lots of variety, and lots of things. I also made a bunch of people walking around. Now for the movement, I actually use the super useful spline class from a previous video. I use it to design the walk path, just to have these people walking around, just to give the world a bit more life. Now the game itself is a taxi game, so randomly there are some people waiting to be picked up. And above the car is a nice GPS arrow pointing me to where I need to go. So over there is a person waiting for a ride, so I get there, I stop at the point. Okay, now I need to go into the destination, so I gotta move my car around, gotta go somewhere to the right side.
And yep, there you go, I've delivered that one. So now with that one, now I've got another one, so I gotta go once again, follow the arrows, and try to find the next spot. Here there's another one, just waiting for a pickup. And I gotta go and go into the target. Also up there on top, you can see a nice timer, so the time is calculated between the pickup and the drop off. And there you go, drop them off. All right, nice. So once again, another basic but pretty functional working prototype. As for some other game ideas you could build with this pack, now if I had some more time, I would have done that Sims-like idea. I think that one could be fun. Alternatively, you could do something like a newspaper delivery minigame. Just drive around, go through all the houses and deliver some newspaper. Or of course, since this one is named Town Pack, you could use it to make a city builder. You could place down houses and roads. Or since the pack also includes a bunch of cars, maybe you could make some sort of traffic simulator game. Or perhaps, a while ago, the Synthi City pack was also part of a free deal on the Assessor. If you pick that one up, then you can easily integrate this pack onto that one to give you even more possible game ideas. So, as you can see, I built a really nice RTS. Then I made a pretty interesting farming game. And finally, a fun taxi driver game. All three minigames were built pretty quickly in just a few hours, and all three look pretty great thanks to using some assets. I hope this video helped show you how quickly you can make some great prototypes. So whenever you have some new idea, possibly when you see a random asset pack, maybe take some time to explore that idea and bring it to life. Also another benefit of using some good looking proper assets, if you're someone who has problems with motivation, problems with sticking with a project for more than a few hours, if you're like that, then having some proper assets can really help boost your motivation. It's easier to stay motivated if your prototype actually looks great as opposed to just some boring cubes. So definitely check out the Humble Bundle with all of these packs and many more. It ends really soon, so definitely get it quickly. This one is a really excellent bundle. It's the best discount you'll ever get with this much variety. So check it out with the link in the description. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.